Hi Megan, my iPod screen is broken and I'm so mad. My cute robot case chipped. Hang on, it's gonna drive me crazy. My cute robot case chipped and I was like, oh, it's not gonna be a big deal. I'm sure it's fine, it's just a little chip in the corner. I dropped it the next day, fell and hit the sidewalk right where the case was chipped, so where the iPod part was exposed. Crack, it's broken, it's ugly, and I hate it. And I don't wanna buy a new one because this has all my New York pictures on it and it won't sync up with my sister's laptop. I don't know, maybe it's too full or some shit. But I'm waiting until my mom buys me a MacBook Air, which is gonna be my grad present, but I'm not getting it till next month. And then I'm gonna sync all my stuff to that and then I'll go get a new iPod. I am so upset. Anyway, so point is, one of the cracks goes right over the camera, so if there's a weird line down your screen, there's nothing wrong with your computer, there's something wrong with my bitch-ass iPod. I hate it. Mm. Also, SA's Icy machine was down. Those, if you know, you know Icy's, they're 99 cents at SA for a huge one. But I'm, I was boiling hot, so I got a smoothie instead. It cost me $4, it's half the size, tastes half as good, it sucks. On the plus side, I just bought a book on how to tie fancier bondage knots, so I'm gonna have a good day. Um, last time we tried, oh my god, it was so pretty. We used red ribbon, tied Nick's ankles to his wrists, and it looks really pretty, but it kept on coming undone and sliding everywhere. So maybe it's because we're using ribbon. Bondage rope is expensive. It's like there's hemp, which is $40 for 30 feet, and there's cotton, which doesn't hold as well, but $16 for 32 feet, so that's like two feet, a dollar. I'm gonna sit down, I need to get my hair back. Anyway, um, so things I want, it's already two minutes and I've talked about nothing. Things I wanted to talk about, Texas. I hate Texas. I'm so upset. You know about the Wendy Davis filibuster, right? If you don't, where have you been? Hiding under a rock? Okay, I'm gonna go off screen for a sec. If you don't know about it, look it up, but you should probably know about it. If you don't, something's wrong. And you know what the other Texas people tried to do afterward. I'm so upset, I can't believe they held her to the rules and she did everything right. She spent 13 hours talking, no bathroom breaks, no food, no sitting down, no leaning against anything. And they went and tried to break the rules anyway. And now Rick Perry, who no one likes, has called a second session about it, about the bill that didn't pass and was supposed to like just be off the table for the next two years. I I hate Texas. I'm gonna go bomb them. I'm gonna leave a flaming bag of dog shit on Rick Perry's doorstep, and then I'm gonna bomb Texas. I'm so mad. Arr! Anyway, I'm not a uh, Rottweiler anymore. I was in a sulk all day yesterday, and then I watched The Hunchback of Notre Dame, and it was really good. Okay, so, but the thing is, I didn't actually like the main character, Quasimodo, that much. I mean, I didn't dislike him. I was just like, why is it this movie about Esmeralda and Phoebus? Why is he the main character? Because they were so badass. They're my new Disney crushes. Because Esmeralda is like, you know, savior of the freaks. She saves Quasimodo when he's tied up. And like, I love the scene where she's in the church and she's praying for help for her people. And then all these like, and she's a gypsy. So she's like an outcast and all these like, good Christians around her are praying for fame and wealth for themselves and she's like I'm fine but there are others who aren't as lucky as me and I know I'm a gypsy outcast but aren't we all children of God so if you can help me anyway that'd be so great and I'm just like wow and then Phoebus when he oh my god he's kind of a buffoon and I think that was really unfair just because he's like the attractive blonde guy. He's also a great guy. That thing where uh, Frollo, I'm sorry, I'm getting, I'm panting because talking and walking at the same time, I'm running out of breath. Anyway, um, because Frollo burns the Miller's house down and he dives in and saves the children and helps the family get out. Frollo's gonna behead him. He's just like, I, 
No regrets, bro. It was so good. Oh my God. I want to marry him so much. So much. And I think he and Esmeralda would be way better together than Quasimodo and Esmeralda. Because no offense to Quasimodo. He's a nice guy. Phoebus and Esmeralda are out there like doing stuff and helping people. And he's just kind of sitting there. One thing I've like come to realize recently, people like to focus on problems that aren't real problems, especially, and you know I'm a feminist, but some of the feminists on Tumblr, they're hung up talking about Disney princesses and women's rights to, sh to not shave their legs. Let me tell you something, as a woman who doesn't shave their legs, all you need to do is stop shaving your legs. Some people will take issue with it, true, just, I mean, if you just ignore that and get past that, it's not a big deal. Other people don't care. Like, you would think you'd walk out on the streets and everyone would be like, ew, gross, look at those legs. They don't. No one notices. The people who do notice, you can say, fuck off. Isn't it? And it wasn't the end of the world. And I know I live in a pretty liberal area, and, but, I don't know. As someone who has, and I used to follow this blog that was for, like, fat people and how to exist in public being fat and also to rant about fat hatred. Let me tell you something, as someone who used to wear baggy clothes all the time and long pants in the summertime, now, look at this cute dress. I am walking around with my fat ass and my unshaved legs and no one's thrown a stone yet and I'm fine. And maybe if people, I know it's hard, but people could look internally and you know, ex like, if they're cool with not shaving their legs and with being fat in public, then that's all you really need to worry about and you can't put the blame on other people because other people don't matter. And I know this sounds really cheesy, but honestly, like, people who are gonna give me shit about this, I don't wanna hang out with anyway. And people on the streets don't care. My boyfriend doesn't care. My mom cares, but I told her, like, basically, well, it's my body, not yours, and you don't get to tell me what to do with it because I'm 18 years old. So, anyway, I'm also reading Persepolis, which is making me really be like, what is wrong with you people? There's horrible things going on in Iran, and you're hung up on Disney princesses. I seriously, there was this blog, every other day they post a rant about how the minority Disney princesses aren't mainstream enough because, you know, you buy any Disney merchandise, Snow White, Sleeping Beauty, fucking Cinderella, that's her name. They're like the main ones and that's obviously racist. But, I mean, that's annoying. That's not a good thing. It's not what's ruining the world right now. There are real issues. You know about honor crimes, right? Honor crimes is where you can beat or kill your daughter or sister for like veering outside of the feminine gender roles that are specific to your culture. They're really common in India. Some of them happen in the US though. There's one lady who her daughter told her that she lost her virginity so she made her drink bleach and then sat on her until she died. These are real problems, Megan. These are the real problems happening in the world. Disney princesses not real problems. I really need to get that off my chest. However, there are important problems to be addressed happening in the US as well. Those are like the fact that one in like, was it one in four women are raped in their lifetime? Stuff like that. And I do still think, I'm not saying this necessarily applies to us, I still think women need like an area to talk about sex openly. And I think starting a Tumblr is a good idea for that. And also I think we should post more than once a week. Like even like once a week each. Or I know I'll probably be all over this vlog posting shit. But um, it doesn't, I mean we can do like maybe one long thing per week. Like one really long entry per week. But we should put little things in there too. Maybe news about what's going on in the world. Maybe feminist book reviews. I don't know. I think this would be a good idea. But... One thing that I think is important is that we remind people that, well, this is unfair if you really care about feminism and women's rights. There are way bigger things to focus on. <sighs> okay. What else? There was something else I wanted to say. 
I, I forget, whatever. All right, I will see you eventually. Uh, let's get together and start this. I can't do this Sunday. I know we said Sundays worked for both of us. This Sunday is my grandma's birthday party. Maybe next Sunday? I don't know. I'll talk to you on Facebook or something. Anyway, 